just finished up at the tournament. Um, it's a little bit of an asterisk next to this one. I'll explain, you know what I'm saying, what happened or whatever at the end of this video. You're on the 170, you're under 170. You got one shot. Wait for this to turn on. I mean, do I just get a step on it? What, what did you want?
what's up YouTube um, I wanted to shoot this video to kind of give some to kind of give some background kind of explanation as to you know what I mean what happened on the last couple rules that you just watched you know that was my third tournament um, that I was in so first I want to say um, before I get into it I've been training no gi consistently for about uh, I want to say about a year now like consistent consistently and when I say consistently I mean at least one day a week I'm pretty much a gi guy you know I picked up no gi you know a couple years into my training and um, like I said I've been training no gi consistently for about uh, about a year now so long story short the competition or tournament that I just um, that I was just in it was yesterday and I went to the no gi competition I went in there and that was the match that you just watched and I think I beat the guy in like like two minutes or less or something like that so after I finished the match um, I'm, I'm walking off the mat and a couple guys from his his team they like they asking me like why are you in this why are you in this division why are you in this division you're a blue belt why are you in this division and I Mind you, I just got finished competing literally like five seconds earlier. So my adrenaline, is, my adrenaline is still going. You know, I'm not thinking all the way straight. And I just get approached by these guys. They ask me, why am I in this division? And Because I'm a blue belt and whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what? I don't know what, what you're talking about. So I, my response was, this is the division that they put me in. Because when I, uh, when I register online, they didn't give an option when it comes to no gi. They didn't give an option of you know belt level. So when I registered online for my gi competition, they ask you you know your age, your weight, and um, you know what belt level are you at. That's not a problem. In the gi was no problem. I registered for my age, weight, and belt level. But when it came to no gi, there was no. They didn't ask you about your belt level. So I'm scrolling through the options on the no gi registration page or whatever and i see like a, a table of um experience so the experience level was like beginner was zero to one year and then the next level was like one year to three years and then the, the uh expert level was like you know four years and up or something like that i don't remember the exact um ranges ranges but i'll see if i can get a snapshot a screenshot and put it up here on the video but I was under the assumption that since there's no belt level I'll go by the amount of time that I've been training no gi which like I said was about about a year consistently consistent consistently so I signed up and I signed up for the beginners the beginners league so I thought that it went beginners was white and blue the intermediate level was purple and brown and then the advanced was black that was my my understanding of experience level so i signed up fast forward to yesterday i, I competed but before my first match i was kind of just you know just watching the other matches before me and i was noticing things like you know i saw one guy he had somebody else in a guillotine from the guard and in the guillotine, if you have somebody in the guillotine in your guard, you kind of, you know, get to one hip and kind of do a certain movement to finish the choke. And he went to the opposite way. So I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, like, that's that's kind of like a, a basic thing, something that you should know. So I was picking up on little things while I was watching the matches before I went. And, you know, stuff like the guillotine. And, you know, I would see people do things like, you know, a guy's trying to do, get a Kimura or a key lock on somebody who's guard they're in. And that's like a that's like jujitsu 101. Like you know that's not you you never want to try to submit somebody who's guard you're in for the most part. So I was picking up on little things like that, but I'm just thinking to myself like maybe you know they're nervous and you know whatever other excuses I came up with in my head. So when I went out there again my first no gi match, my first no gi match, I I, I submitted the guy and like uh, uh, you know two minutes or less or something like that so again his teammates approached me like why are you in this division whatever, whatever whatever so I'm trying to explain to them like I didn't know that that was a no gi I mean that the no gi division went by you know total number of 
you know, total number of years of experience. I thought it just went by how long you've been training no gi. And again, I've only been training no gi consistently for about a year. So that was the division that I thought that I should be in. So they are like, you know, the one guy, he walked up to me and he's like playing my YouTube videos. Like, look, he's a blue belt. He shouldn't be in this division. Look, I got proof right here. And he's sandbagging and this and this and this and that. And I'm like, first, I try to have a, have a conversation with him. I'm like, dog, like, I understand that you upset that I beat your teammate. I would be, I'm sure my teammates would be upset too if they was in the same situation that you was in. But it wasn't intentional. And my understanding of what sandbagging is, is somebody who, now if I were to come with my white belt, compete in the white belt division, gi and no gi, and just don't say anything about anything, and just compete as if I was a true white belt, now that's sandbagging, that's like, that's misleading, that's not, that's not fair, that's definitely not fair. But it wasn't intentional. So afterwards, after my match, you know, I walked over to the guy who I competed against, and I let him know the situation, you know, I, I you know, registered for the wrong event, by mistake and at that point I kind of I just pulled myself out of the whole tournament like the no-gi tournament um, I, I felt that I mean morally as far as principles whatever you want to call it I didn't feel comfortable you know winning a white uh, winning a, um, a, a gold medal in the white belt division like that's not fun that's not an accomplishment I'm not a white belt anymore so again I explained it to the guy who I beat look man I'm really a blue belt I, I, you know, registered for the wrong event. And he told me, he's like, damn, like he was really surprised, you know, how good I was for a white belt, you know, a, a white belt. But again, I was, I'm not a white belt. And um, he told me that he, he had only been training for, I think like eight or nine months. So I'm like, after he said that, I'm like, it's, it's, it's definitely not, it will be no point for me to continue to compete in that division. So I pulled myself out, forfeited, quit, whatever you want to call it from that division and then the second match that you watch was me in the gi in my correct division blue belt um i think i weighed in that day at like one 169 and the division that i was in was 170 to 185 i think like that something like that but it was only one guy in my division and that was the guy that you just watched me um you know compete against so i just wanted to clear all of that up i just wanted to clear all of that up and let people know whoever's interested or whatever kind of what I meant by you know putting that kind of the, the asterisk next to this competition I, I I was in the wrong division that was my fault lesson learned um so with that being said I kind of want to know what everybody else thinks like you know definitely like the video subscribe and comment down in the comment section and let me know what you would have done or, you know, if you was in the position that I was in, what you would have done or wouldn't have done, would you have continued competing? You know, is, is a, uh, you know, a win is a win? Are you that type of person? Or, you know, would you have forfeited like I did because you found out that you was in the wrong division? And also one more thing I wanna add, I asked the judges and the people that was running it if, you know, I could like go to my correct division, no gi. And he was like, he was telling me, you know, it was too late. You know, you, you already registered and it was too late and that would like mess things up or whatever. So again, let me know what you think down in the comments, um, what you would have done in the situation that I was in. And um, yeah, I really want to hear, hear, hear your feedback. So let me know.